Well, it's about time that I explain to you how things are with the Lindley's Garden Railway. Sorry about the gap in transmission recently, I've been busy, but more than that, I've had to spend time on adapting some design work that I previously thought was all sorted. Hi, I'm Warren Brandon, welcome to another Linley's video. So it's got complicated here. What, you may be wondering, just stick some track down on the ground, on some bricks, and run some trains, yes? Well, no, not here at the Linley's Garden Railway. Although there's always been a master plan, over the years I've been adding functional aspects to the running lines, changing and adapting plans as ideas come to me. And so what now, you'll be wondering? It's the addition of a branch line. Right now I don't have the time to fully plan or build a branch line. Heck, I've got lots of other railway projects to work on. I don't need to start something new. But to get an overall idea, I've roughly dumped some timbers and bricks down to check some of the basic alignments and gradients. But here's the thing, I realised a couple of months ago that if I wanted to add a branch line, I need to make sure that the control system that I'm currently working on has the capacity and flexibility to be adapted to include the branch line, otherwise I'll be wasting months of work. And I like the planning anyway. I'm working on installing the DLC system to manage the suburban line up from Lindley Station around the back of the shed and returning to the down platforms of the station. The three block sections included in this line were going to be fairly straightforward but no, oh no, not now that I want to include a branch line off from around the side and in front of the shed. The DLC system is a major part of the way the railway is controlled. More about that system in other videos here on the channel, but to include the control of the branch line and the inclusion of a whole new single box area, I've needed to dig deep, well not literally this time, and devise a way to manage the triangle junction which needs to be added. From previous videos, you may have kept up with some of the aspects of my current project on the railway. So here goes, you want to know what the adaptions are. The branch line will be controlled completely from another signal box. The operator there will be able to manage all the train movements on the branch, as well as the entry into and exit from the branch line, linked to the suburban line. But just like with a full-size line, there'll be some interaction with the signal box controlling the suburban line, and that's where it's got very complicated.
The interlocking control of the points to and from the branch, as well as the signal box along the suburban line there, will be jointly done by the main signal box at Lindley Station in partnership with the branch line box. I want to be able to switch out the branch line box, that means leave it in a state where it doesn't need an operator, so that when it's not in use I can ignore it when trains are running on the suburban line, either manually or under the full DLC automated control. So after some careful thought and detailed system planning, I found a way to control all the block section signals associated with the lines here and make sure that I can switch out the branch line block if needed. That work has taken a couple of months in between trips and other project work. I'm now very behind with the planned railway development I wanted to finish this year. Thank you for sticking with my Garden Railway update videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, I'm very interested to hear these in the comments. Now that I've got some of these details sorted, I can get back on to the suburban line work and tracks through the Linley station. A thumbs up like would be most appreciated. Until next time, thanks for watching and bye for now.